all right everybody before we get started i'm going to be staining my trailer at the end of the video so this is the stuff i'm going to be using thanks to roland for hooking it up this is not a sponsored video by the way uh cm has been using this for a while so i'm gonna use it on my trailer so stay tuned for that all right everybody welcome back to the channel my name is arthur and today we're gonna do a review on my new 40k rated diamond c gooseneck trailer so let's get into it all right let's start out from the front well you might think why in the world is this thing rusted well because over there when we were at diamond c they had to quickly custom build one of these for me man that was awesome they definitely went out of their way the other one had a three inch ball on it but my truck has a two and five sixteens so because that one was rated at 40k and this one is at 30 but the trailer is still rated at 40 but we're going to be doing some changes here hopefully shortly in the future where i'm going to need that 40k but in the meantime they uh, went out of their way built me this thing real fast so what do you guys think let me know in the comments below should i keep it like this and just put clear coat on it or should i just paint it black you know clean this one up and then just paint it black to match it with the trailer i think kind of looks cool you could see if once you clean it up you could see the guys out there uh welded it with their hands when they brought it out i thought they did it with a machine and i'm like do you guys use a machine like nope lead welder did it man good job guys you guys are awesome so this thing 30k rated two and five sixteen super adjustable has that spindle uh handle up top where i could adjust it and then if i need to adjust it more or loosen it the nuts right there and then look how this thing is made like look at all this reinforcement man the first time i seen one of these i was like dude these guys aren't playing so i haven't seen anybody else in the industry with this super excited for that and also another thing i opted for um or wanted to get is this solar panel that thing is uh seven watt as you can see if you come in here it has this little thing for it and then it runs into all the system keeps my both of my winch and trailer uh ramp battery charged Let's jump up there and look at it ah there it is i like how they have it mounted on this specially made thing for it bracket so that you know no matter where the sun is at it's going to get its power so let's move on to here spare tire is up here so bolt it on here i'm gonna put a broom up here like i had on my other trailer but they they also you could get a if you're gonna be custom ordering one you could get one where the spare tire is uh it has like this thing from underneath where you could just unclip it and it kind of unfold so you don't have to go up top so if i ever see one i'll show you guys but make sure you guys get that option where you could um, unfold the spare tire mounts so let's move on to this right here these lights 2700 lumen each i have two of them man these things are bright especially when you're backing up at night you can see pretty much everything all right so move to a different location a couple guys showed up to that spot they're going to be doing some work over there so let's continue so this is the other side of the trailer with the light 2700 lumens like i said i like how these are adjustable you know you can go up down tilt turn whatever you want to do and this is the switch that you know you turn it on it runs both of the lights i think i'm gonna install a wireless um remote on these lights like i had on my other trailer so that i could stay in my truck and turn them on and off and just probably keep this as an option too so 2700 lumens man these things are nice when you're loading at night backing up like i said gotta take that sticker off still on there from that trip so then I also went with 25,000 pound jacks, you know, standard or 12, which will do just fine. Or you could go with hydraulics like Sam's, but I just wanted to go with these because I don't really unhook that often. So both sides. And then this is a two speed also. You can see, you know, you could push it in. It's on low gear, take it out. It's on high gear. So it works really good because the reason why I went with the uh, bigger ones is because if I'm going to have, you know, like 25,000 pounds on the trailer, and you know the weight of the trailer plus the load i could feel safe taking them off you know versus the 12s which probably like i said will do good but i'd rather have too much than not enough at that moment so and then 
these things man i was so excited once i got these uh this chain rack you can see it has like a pin right here take this off go like that it has on both sides but i just i'm just gonna keep it on one bam pick it up got all the chains got all the binders Put this back in here so super nice option very glad i went with it because on my other trailer i would just hook them up to those little diamonds and then i used to use this mat and put it on top with the strap way cleaner this way dot approved so i have you know i usually just have most of the time i use four binders but this is a fifth you know for the boom of a excavator or backhoe also chains that's for the boom and i'm just gonna keep that one there then we got this storage right here huge box man if i compare it to my pj trailer this thing is freaking huge way bigger way bigger these are really nice have a lot of strength in them goes up and down and then back before i had my chain rack some most of the stuff i kept in here also you know just the essentials were out there but i still got you know two more chains in here for if i ever move more than one piece of equipment these corner pieces that i bought a couple years ago you know still in good shape gotta keep them in here the little ones straps gotta organize you gotta get back to the yard and then i'll take out this battery that was from my old winch so this uh, winch came with a good battery so i'm gonna save this one and keep it for whatever reasons but i'm this can be like my stuff that i don't really use that often you know 90 percent of the time i don't even use straps so that works good and i also put my other rubber piece in here that way it doesn't jump when you know you hit a bump or something or a transition on the freeway you know if your trailer jumps up or it moves they're not going to just jump and uh, jump up and down in here and make a lot of noise check out this deal man this is freaking awesome boom man just a little you know attention to de detail that diamond c has goes a long way my pj trailer i mean i'm not knocking them you know they do a good job but this is awesome like my other one it's actually bent i don't even remember where i bent it but that one's a little off to the side so that's a sweet option and this seventeen thousand five hundred pound winch and also while we're here check out this and you can put a hitch up in here open it up i love how it's in a box you know protects it from the elements nice and safe got the battery up here this big old winch and this these cables are fat my other trailer has a 12 000 pound winch that one worked great you know but you could feel that some sometimes you know if if you're pulling something and you're going up the ramp that adds a bunch of more weight but this one just knocks it out perfectly so i'll keep my wd-40 up in here keep my uh axle oil um this is for the this is a hydraulic fluid for the ramp if i'm gonna need it and one thing i really like about these trailers they come with this system so you just push this button and it shows you you know the battery the alternator charging whatever and then so 17,500 pound winch it comes with a um with a remote you know wire remote comes with a wireless remote so really nice there's the wireless remote really impressive with this clutch one is free spool bam such a solid package this thing looks awesome really happy ready to mention it but with this rack and then another thing i went with my other trailer had pine this one has oak two inch oak this stuff is gonna last a lot longer especially because i move equipment and you know how it goes with equipment with uh, excavators and buckets and everything just tearing it up this stuff is gonna last a lot longer really impressive so i'm gonna have to get back to the yard right now and i'm gonna put a stain on it this is an awesome uh, option too that they make these um traction bars if you're loading in a dozer or excavator on a slant definitely could uh you feel those working all right moving on to the next thing is this sweet box so this one has an upgraded battery i went with that because i don't want to get to a job site you know and i go to open my ramp and it's dead you know that's you got to do whatever it takes to prevent all those things from happening 
so got the better battery and this also has this charging system shows you the battery and the level of it you know fuse everything charging system wireless remote controller antenna also has a wired remote if you need it i also keep my chalk in here tire chalk just in case you know if i'm unloading or loading on a slant or even if i'm not i like to put it under the wheels so that it doesn't move the truck around and you know hydraulic fluid container and then this is for the axles this trailer has 16,000 pound hydraulic drum brakes man these suckers stop on the dime if you need it so one thing i like with this trailer this box is a lot closer forward because my other one had like a rail system over here you know for the four inch straps but i don't really use straps that often so i i didn't want to go with them this time so this box is a lot closer a lot easier to reach so and mid step dude this thing is a freaking game changer my other trailer doesn't have they only has one up front and then it has that pretty much it or you could just step the other trailer i'll show you guys i'll make a review on it it has a hydro not a hydraulic dovetail it has like a regular dove so you could just stand on the edge jump on but this mid step is awesome because when you put a machine on here the machines are like the door is like right here so you could just step up here grab the machine and get up in there man it makes this a lot easier So and the, another huge thing why I went with these trailers is because of the 12 foot hydraulic dovetail. When you're loading, you know, you want to make sure you have the least amount of, you know, when you climb with the machine and then it drops down, this thing makes it so much smoother, so much smoother. And also with the engineered beam, let me show you guys, look at that, it goes nice and straight. Boom, like a semi truck. These guys freaking killed it. Looks awesome. So this is a 40,000 pound uh, trailer. The beam is a lot bigger as you can see. This thing's huge. So it has a 16,000 pound axle. So you know, it has a big old suspension on it. 48 inch spread. Haven't even watched it yet from the trip. Look at these lug nuts. Huge. So very happy, you know, like I said, this is my second Diamond C. I had the first one, no issues, no cracks, and I used that trailer pretty hard, so really good job. They do a good job. So on this one is a 35 footer. My old one was a 30. On this one, I could do three small machines once we upgrade the powerhouse, but, or I could just use, you know, I could have a machine with then a few buckets up front. So I'm not going to have to worry if I have enough uh, space on my trailer. This one just does it good. And I think, so don't, don't quote me on that, but you could put 9,000 pounds up to nine feet. That is a lot of carrying weight. And it also has a 10,000 10, pound lifting capacity. So I'm planning on adding some uh, chicken lights to this trailer actually. You know, maybe every five feet let me know in the comments what you guys want to see so this one has these right here so i'm gonna just gonna find these and match them up and you know put them every five feet or something it's gonna look sweet and not only for the looks but when you're driving you could there's a lot more light coming out but you could actually see the side of the road when you're turning also went with this strobe up uh, down here i'm gonna add some other ones you know some amber and clear little ones because when you're working on the street I don't know why people don't move over. I just don't understand, especially when they have room. That's just ridiculous. You know, that extra safety measure for them and for us, especially. So if you guys see a person, tow truck, anybody working, even a regular car pulled over. So appreciate if you guys move over, you know, just go that extra step. It's not that hard. Just move your steering wheel, move it back. You're good to go. So hydraulic system, everything. Yeah super happy with this guy gonna get it cleaned up get it washed so i want to add some more lights up here you know some amber lights gonna take the sticker off we're not not for hire anymore so i'm gonna get that done well i'm at a different location again i don't know how i missed it the other day but this thing is a huge deal also the neck the engineered neck as you can see this is one piece like versus you know the traditional beam beam and then that little support thing this is one piece right here as you can see 
and there are images um i've seen where you know they do the stress test where how the um pressure is on these necks this was takes the pressure a lot better than you know you know the traditional uh gooseneck because i think on the regular ones i gotta look at the picture but there's a lot of pressure right there and somewhere in the front but this one spreads it out a lot more evenly so that's a huge deal you know just gives you that peace of mind knowing that everything will be fine uh we got this thing loaded and then another huge deal you know i already mentioned it but the 12 foot hydraulic dovetail huge deal the slope is a lot uh smaller than your traditional gooseneck and also the auto lock and unlock tail versus the traditional one where you know you have the the locks where you gotta come out unlock it open it or whatever you're doing lock it this one does it by itself you can see it right here it goes up past where it usually sits then it goes down a little bit so and then when you want to unlock it or when you want to go down just hit the down button it goes up a little bit unlocks and then goes down man makes it so much smoother i really like that where i could just stay in the machine and just get it done or i could be sweeping hit the button and the ramp is coming up at once and you're sweeping you know just knock out two birds with one stone yeah so guys that pretty much sums it up man diamonds he killed it thank you guys again for the tour and really nice to see what they do how much effort and how much you know attention to de detail and innovation they're into these guys are awesome so if you guys liked this video hope you guys did like comment subscribe you know share it with somebody who's maybe looking for a trailer let me know if you guys run a diamond see what kind of brand you guys have and how you guys like it maybe some things you guys want to change in your trailer or you guys have suggestions of what i could do to my trailer you know i've been doing this for multiple years so and i'm always open to hearing uh you know whatever you guys have to say so let me know like always guys have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one All right, that's it. <clears throat> Put a nice layer on it, kind of let it dry. Wanted to get it done before the sun went down, so it's taking a little longer to dry, so maybe put a second coat on it tomorrow, we'll see.